In the old days, to rename a file in PowerPoint, Word, or Excel, you had many choices that were all too many clicks and often resulted in duplicate files with multiple names or lost files. Lost as in they did not show up in your most recent file list. If you're a Windows or a Mac Office 365 user, this is now a super, super fast one click change. Hi, this is Les from Power Up Training. I'm about to revolutionize the most basic of your task. And if you stay to the end, you'll easily recover these four minutes in future time savings. Wrong file name? Misspelled the file name? Don't like the capitalization? Then click here at the top screen, right on top of the file name. Change it, edit it, replace it, whatever. Type and hit your keyboard, enter key, and you're done. File name renamed. This works for both the Windows and Mac OS, but the dialog boxes will look a little different. Yes, Mac users, your dialog box looks cuter. No matter what, it works the same way. But for either computer platforms, you must use the latest Office 365 version, not the older standalone Office Word or Excel or PowerPoint desktop program. This feature is reserved for their paying customer. Furthermore, if you're trying this tip right now and you're seeing a grayed out box, that means you've saved your file on your local hard drive, not on Microsoft's Office Cloud OneDrive. Files must be on the Microsoft Office file system for this renaming trick to work. However, if you embrace the tool from Microsoft, you can reap the benefits. One important benefit is that your existing recently used lists all stay in sync, which will not happen if you rename the file outside of Microsoft Office in your file manager. What does that mean? Look here. In my file ribbon menu under recent, you only see my latest rename file listed under the name of a slick trick for fast file name changes. Not any of the previous three file names that I did during this video. And that is because I did not create three new files, but instead I just renamed them. It is still a single file and Microsoft Office is keeping track of the most recent name only so I don't have to remember. This look trick is not just fast, but clean and will not accidentally bring back an older pre-named zombie file from the past. Here is a bonus second trip, simple two-click moving of files. Same steps of clicking on the file name, but we don't care about renaming. We want to move the file to a new folder. Click place for the Mac OS or locations for Windows, and there you can navigate down to the subfolder or up a folder in the file structure. This is fast and easy, but you cannot create a new folder from here. Hey, this is just a shortcut simple menu, not a full feature file utility. For those extra requirements, you need to return to your computer's file manager or finder tools. On the other hand, this simple click of the file name will let you move the file and rename the file in just a single click of the mouse and with your keyboards. It is super, super easy and fast. There is one option in the dialog box that I did not cover. And it's related to time travel or as Microsoft calls it, version history. Want to learn how to travel back in time to recover an older version of the file in the event of an editing disaster? Then click on this tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, go power up.